Let's jump right into the NBA playing. I, I, I'll, I'll hold off on the Heat one. Let's talk Ooh. about the Lakers. The Lakers and the Pelicans, because that game last night was big time. Um, we heard some silly ass stuff come out of people's mouths on first take this morning between, from from Matt. I mean, Matt, Nick, you heard it, and, Matt Don um, Russo, and uh, the Good Morning one. Greenberg, yeah, the comment. I'm sorry. Let's jump into the comments first. That are made pregame where Stephen A. Smith on first take, Mike Greenberg on get up. Get up. Um, get up. These are guys on ESPN, and I want to talk they about this because it. well, Stephen A. They, trying to flip it. They're trying to. Well, he also called Brandon Ingram Basically. high today. Basically. On the bench. Basically. He called him high. And which to me is, he should be, like, legitimately, he could be sued for that. Um, and I think that's completely I mean, inappropriate. But you're talking about, I mean, maybe he looked a little high, but I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to say that on ESPN. Now, all that said, they literally talked about throwing the yeah. game for the Lakers to avoid the Nuggets. As if the NBA does not have a big enough problem with the opinion that games are rigged, Ga people, people gambling. are gambling, as we just saw. A people gambling? What? Well, players Whoa. are clearly gambling as one just got banned for the rest of his life. Uh, uh -huh. So we'll talk about that later. But when you're a media member and you're ha-ha, ki 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 about throwing a game, that's a problem. What are your thoughts Why on that? Why would you Nick? even say something like that? Like, you could say, you could go on there and say, hey, it's probably, it won't be a big problem if they lose the game because they get another chance. That's probably the better way to say it. But when you say, oh, the Lakers should just go out there and, and AD should say his back spasm is cracking up, or, I mean, it's coming up, or, or, or LeBron should say his knee or ankle just to get out the game so they could lose and get a favorable matchup that they think is favorable in their way because they, they don't nobody respects OKC. So when you come and do that, you just the dignity of the sport, like you just throw it down the drain for no reason. Like literally literally the Lakers said at the beginning of the season they want Denver. They said it's Mike Malone is laughing and ha ha and Kiki and things of that nature. If you got if you want to be the best, you have to beat the best. So why would they want to duck that anyway? And now you come in here with the integrity of the sport. And you go online as a media member, and you just say that. That's just, man. As a as a player, that's something you never want to do. You don't care who you're playing. Like, it might be a favorable matchup the other way to get further. What so another team can knock them off. That's what we. That's what we're looking for to get to the third round. And we said if, and then they somebody like, oh, because some an injury could happen. That's not what we want to see as fans. Anyway, we want to see the best players at their best ability play the game. We don't want to see injuries to cause another team to win. We understand that it happens, but that's not what we want to see is paying fans of, you know, streaming services or fans that go to the game to watch it. You know, that's not what we want to see. So when you come out there and just outright tell them, oh, they should throw the game, and you just have that as an option. Now, if they lose and you say, oh, they lose the game, then, you know, is it all that bad? They still get another chance to... I'm okay with that one, but when you just outright, he said, throw the game. He said, throw the game. And everything that's going on, Rudy already said it. Like, there's gambling going on. People, fans are betting on this, and they already are mad because anytime their team don't win or it don't, the bet don't go their way because they could have literally bet the other way and, and won, then they, they, they try to find nitpick ways. And, oh, the referee didn't call this because of this. Or, you know, this player is obviously – not playing because of it. No, come on now. We have to do better, and especially as media member. And then Stephen A gets on freaking TV and outright fucking lies. Fucking lies. And, and try to blame it on the guy who asked the question like this wasn't something that was being brought up before. Like, it was literally brought up by your colleague earlier on the show an hour and a half before, two hours before yours. And everybody was talking about it. So for you to act like the, the the guy who asked that question did it out of bad faith or just out of, you know, no knowledge of being a media member, you try to throw him under the bus. That was just outright wrong. And you're, I mean, and, and Stephen A does a lot of things to 
make it seem like he's better and he knows a lot better and things of that nature. And I just don't, I don't agree with him or like the way he goes about things that he's just better than everybody, which I don't think he is so much. Um, Man, that just was shitty, man. Shitty take, shitty thing by him. And then for him to come out there and not acknowledge it, what actually fucking happened. Like, we didn't fucking watch the show before. Or, like, people weren't talking about it. Like, it just came out the fucking blue the blue sky, blue and orange skies that he called it. Um, <laughs> that was fucking, that was that was crazy and absurd, man. I didn't like it at all, man. Since, since you mentioned Stephen A. Smith, again, you went back to his ego. Uh, what, what, did you hear him at halftime tonight? Yeah, like. Where, where he knew. says, you know, well, you got, he knew, I knew, I knew something y'all didn't know. You should have listened to me. And, and then of course, Dude, I knew the second league. he said that the <laughs> Sixers have only, only two and 13 down 10 at the half. I'm like, yep. we're going to lose the damn game. Mm-hmm. He just cursed us and he did his little ego thing. And then we lose the game. So what does he have to say now? Did you know so much now? It, it, it's, it, it, it's bothersome when you hear stuff like that for me, because at the end of the day, yeah. this is competition. And, and and I get it if the Lakers match up with the Denver Nuggets isn't the greatest for them, but you know yes. they're still a good team. They're still playing at a Rudy, very high a level man. right now, and I don't and I don't like them. They're a very but they're playing at a very. They, they finished off the season fourteen and five. Uh, I, I mean I, they, they did a great job. Um, now they, I will say they overcome the blessings of. The injury god once again, 95-95 with 3.28 to go, and Zion busts his leg. Yeah, it always always happens. It seems like it happens for them all the time. And and, and it's disappointing for the – because we never saw what the ending could have been. We saw an injured team with no one – with guys that couldn't score, another guy who's high on the bench. According to to (laughs) – Who's not playing. And, 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 And then watch Alvarado make the dumbest pass on earth where he has a layup and he kicks it out I'm, for a three I and it's that. a turnover and goes back to the way for a dunk. And you're sitting here like, this is the three culture that we live in, drive and kick, drive and kick, drive and kick, drive and kick. Um, but what happens if, what happens if you have, well, you know, they would have been playing the Kings now who beat the brakes off of the Warriors. They we struggle even, with the Kings. We didn't even get to that part. I didn't even get uh, to that part. Like yeah. you're putting yourself in not even making a playoff you know, at all because you're trying to avoid one game, you had the available, you know, things on your oh. side by being that seed of having, you know, a chance to play a game to get in the seventh seed. And then if you did you lose, you have another chance. So you just throw one game away to say we only going to have one game. Well, you know, you have Steph over there, even though Steph don't look as good as he looked at the beginning of the year because he's been carrying dead weight a lot of the time of the year with um, Draymond Green's situation and Clay Thompson. But Clay Thompson's been playing well. I'm not going to dive into him like – a lot of people are doing, and Rudy is about to do, maybe sooner or later. But um, he's been he's playing well Over 10. the last second half of the season. <laughs> he's been playing good. But you're going to put yourself in a scenario like that when that team just beat us by hitting 20-something threes a few weeks ago, a, a week yeah. ago? Hell, scenario where they're going to play a team that's a beating round, the hell out of them, too. Game, you the, the Kings. March Madness, where anything can happen. So, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. you, you're taking a chance of not even making the playoffs, and that's what you're okay with, and that's what – you know what? Go ahead, Rudy. I'm sorry. I took over. Let, no, no, it's fine. We, so now we have uh, oh, the Lord. Heat tonight. Um, completely blow a 12, 13 point third quarter lead. And this will go down as what did you call it? The chicken the tender chicken, game or chicken finger game chicken or the, game, the chicken That's, game. The fried chicken game. Because the Heat are up 11 points. Momentum He's is up on 11 on. points. Caleb, Caleb Martin drives to the rim, draws a foul on Embiid. They go into a timeout. He comes off of the timeout, has two free throws, chance to push it back to 13, complete control of this game. And it's about, I think, about six and a half minutes to go when this happened. Seven minutes. He misses the front end after he stands with the ball for I like 20 seconds, lot. it seemed like. He do, no, he does. He does. But it seemed like it was even longer than no. that, than normal. It almost looked like he was on the line like Giannis holding the ball forever. And, and then the next one, he misses. And then the next one, he shoots like this, and he bricks it. The place goes bananas because they're going to get some free chicken tenders or whatever the hell it is. And they come back down the floor. Nick Batum, who we decided we weren't going to guard for whatever reason, as if they didn't know that Nick Batum could shoot, which that's all he's done his whole whole career, hits a three. It's now an eight-point game. Caleb Martin comes right back down the floor, drives around the edge, has Embiid, and B is gassed. And B can't jump. He's got three fouls. Jump into his ass. Draw a foul, something. 
anything but what he did, which was do that typical drive and kick. And he tried to kick it around um, MB. He pa- turns it over right to Tyrese Maxey, I think it was. Pushes the ball down the floor, and now it's a six-point game. The entire game changed. The energy of that arena completely changed. And mind you, this is all while Jimmy Butler got landed on, is not playing very well. Tyler Hero, who at one point was four for 19. And, and and we sit here and people talk about why I don't like Tyler Hero. That's why. Yeah, he got a little hot streak at the he, he end of that game. Great. Yeah. But, but, if, but, if he, but, if he had, but if he hadn't played terribly for most of the game, we're up 20 fucking points. And we, we overcome the fact that Jimmy didn't play well. Now, the guy I have a oh, bigger right. beef with yes. is Bam Adebayo. I'm sick of watching this guy play basketball. I can't stomach it anymore. This man, every single big game, absolutely disappears. Joel Embiid needed to be in a wheelbarrow, pushed up the floor, a wheelchair. The man is bent over from the first quarter on, can't breathe, and yet Bam Adebayo finishes with nine shots, 10 points on five of nine shooting. He has 12 boards, and yet he's not even guarding Embiid defensively. He's guarding Batum, and Batum is the one torching Miami. And I'm sitting here watching Eric Spolster, who was an amazing coach. And in the first half, the zone worked. You can't expect to play a fucking elementary school zone for four quarters in the NBA. And they stu- they stayed in it the whole damn game. And in the fourth quarter, he's guarding Batum. And Caleb zone. Martin so it ended Taylor. up working out that way. It wasn't like he was guarding Batum. Hey, but he was never guarding Embiid. Yeah, he never zone, guarded Embiid at that point. Because Embiid was outside. Embiid was standing at the other zone. Get, get out of the damn matchup zone. Well, get into a damn man to man. With, with you, you, like, you have to adjust. You, really you got to adjust like, to it. Would you fight? When does Fogue deserve to be on the hot seat? You asked me that earlier this week. I and asked I said, you that the other day. You know, when does he ever when is he ever in danger of losing said, his but job? But I would like his playoff success, you know, supersedes what he does in the regular season. So, you know, and we're gonna and be an eggsting again Pat if Roddy, we win. You know, is loyal to his people, you know, to his nature. To but a fault. Except to except to you know, Dwayne Wade when we needed him not did to. Did you ever have a problem that you wanted to I say no, but I do have a problem with some of the things that he does in key moments. And it's been and, and then today reminded me of what it was. I forgot what it was. It was when we go in this zone, and when the team is just trying, and, and it worked for a while, and, we, it and when the, the team is starting to try to get back in the game with threes, that's what that's the easiest thing to get threes in. It worked early off; you threw them off, but now you know if, they were, I think, three you know, for twenty in the first half and three shooting like that the, the whole game, especially when they get open. These players are just too fucking good nowadays to just. Batum was, was wide like open that. every and shot. Batum has a quick release, so that even make it even. He, he don't even bring it down, so he catches it up. He just releases it from the top, so you can't even get out there. So you really need to be attached to him, especially when he gets it going after he hit two. All right, Spo, come out of the zone and go, man. I, I you probably scared about Maxi blowing by us because we're getting blown by by everybody also. So maybe he's worried about that also. I, I mean, but also, and B was not the player he was. You know, to be so we're giving him all this attention when we literally could just put Bam on him, or we could have kept Kevin Love and who played. We were, we were double, we were exactly. doubling him, twenty-two and feet I, from the and rim. If let a team get back. Twenty-two and you feet let a team from get the back rim. In the game, you let a team get back in the game by getting twos, not by getting threes, because in three, yes, in three I've possessions, always said that. I it could cut a ten-point lead down to one in three possessions. It, it happened, bam, 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 this ten game. It's literally, it's literally that's, what happens. NBA, that's what happens. So that's my gripe with Spo. He stays in that zone too long. You have to adjust. Come out of it. And another thing that I noticed about the Miami Heat, and we Ben said this even last year when Duncan Robinson was going through a slump, our offense goes to dirt crap without him out there because he's present. No, he, you need he, Duncan. We need Duncan. That our offense is triggered around because everything moves around him. He's, he, he sets the back screens. He come off screens, and then you have to send two people out there, and the other person slip, and they get a layup, or they don't get out there to him. He get a quick release. He get the shot off. It just makes it a little bit harder for the defense. So when he's not out there, our, our offense gets so stagnant and things of that nature. And then the bam, the bam scenario. Like, I, he gets me He gets me every year. He got me again this year. And I said I wasn't going to let it happen. Every, the bam plays so good. The first half of the year, every year he comes out. He shows a couple of different moves that that's in the arsenal. He got the mid range jump shot. He goes on the post. He got the fade away. Everything's working for him. He's not 
We ain't shy to get the ball up. And then we get around the last 10, 15 games of the season, 20 games of the season, he starts getting fucking gun shy again. And I'd be like, no, you're the best fucking player on the team or the second best player on the team. Shoot the ball. We're not going to be mad at you if you're being aggressive. If, if Bam is, is four for 19, I'm not mad. I'll be like, hey, my best player came out. Dude, I want him. To, I, I, you have a guy who can't move so, guarding him. Why aren't reason, you attacking him? I give him a little, only reason All I give game. him a little bit of, you know, slap, you know, I give him a little grace for it because when you play Embiid, because, well, he should be guarding Embiid. And he wasn't should, guarding him. should him a little bit, so his offense isn't going to be there. So I'll take that if, it's, if, you know, if he's taking Embiid out of the game. But he's not guarding him, and that changes the whole fact. Go, I need you to be aggressive and be in that guy. So that's a big thing I have about them, man. And it's just it's real frustrating to watch sometimes because they're such a good team, and they'll they'll straight by this game right here, and then they'll give Boston Celtics a hell of a series. <laughs> The first, the the first half, they looked Except exceptional. Six minutes. Defensively, they would have. That was the best defense I've seen the Heat play in two months. The Sixers didn't know what to do. They were turning the ball over left and right. I think I texted you. They had seven turnovers, and we were still losing. And and then all of a sudden, it started to change because we started making some shots because we kept turning them over. But you got, I, I don't. Bam Adebayo was on the Olympic team. I don't know why. I, I don't know why. There's someone. Has, so, for what? I got. I, I don't need him out. I don't need a, a useless guy who's not sure. to take a, a shot. I mean, so that's all we got. Well, to do Anthony Davis can do that. They got and, and know, playing Anthony for the U.S. For Christ's sake, and he and B and AD. I, I, you, I don't need. I don't need uh, another. I don't AD need them out of Bayou out there. Let alone AD the, on the team, huh? Yeah, it's, okay. it's Embiid and AD. Yeah, and and I just. I mean, they also. Stacking three point guards. I don't know why Jimmy Butler's not part of this team. Jimmy he must just not want to be because he just yeah. he must not even want to be because to, to tell me that, that that Bam's on that team ahead of him is ridiculous. But every, I mean, ten points, dude. Jimmy Butler's hurt. You know he's fucking hurt, and you won't take the damn ball. Even dribbling the ball up the floor. We don't and have he, a point guard he's now. He's really we good. At our he's point like guard. our other point guard for the most part. How, how about if he's dribbling the ball with 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 speed up the pressure. court? What I is him going to do? do? Oh, one time to be one year. I was like, damn, okay, he's really attacking him, bro. So we traded our point guard for another point guard, and what happens to the point guy we trade for? He's injured. He's not playing. Terry Rozier's out. It's like it's unreal. Duncan Robinson's out, and the guy who's beaten us now three times, which is why we are not a freaking six seed right now. Is Kyle Lowry for Philly, a- and it's mind blowing that the the guy who we gave away for basically seems like nothing now because we have nothing for it, and we're running Tyler Hero at point guard the entire game. Why not run Delon like, Wright at point guard? He's, he's, Where's Patty Mills? I mean, Patty's more of a shooting. A, a shooting. I know, I but Tyler Hero DeLon, can barely DeLon, handle DeLon, the ball. He's, he's you know, Hero can. Barely handled the ball, and, and he's out there, and he turns the ball over. Yes, he got pushed in the back. They can say what they want. He got flat shoved in the back by my Nick Batum, which made him step on ha- at, at midcourt. But even the fact that you're handing the ball off two feet from the midcourt line just shows such a lack of and, intelligence. And Hawkins, though. That was Hawkins. It's Hawkins. The most – such a lack of basketball intelligence that you're doing a, a handoff with tight-ass defense like that two feet from backcourt, from the midcourt line. It is absolutely stupid. And it's it's typical of what Tyler Hero does. It, he does things like this. Even the last shot he took, he should have shot the ball when he caught the ball. No, he needed to do a pump fake, a dribble left. He burned three mm-hmm. seconds doing that. It made probably didn't make a difference. But by the time the ball goes in, there's point three left. If it doesn't go mm-hmm. in, it doesn't go in. But making it to make it a one point game so you can pad your numbers, um, I'm very frustrated. We're gonna play the Bulls. Because the Bulls are waxing yeah. the shit out of the Hawks right now. They're up 13 at, at midway well, through the third, yeah. second quarter. Well, we've seen that. Um, same we've as seen we played them last, last year. We've seen, we've seen the Heat we up at halftime. And halftime. Yeah, I mean, but the Bulls are at home, and we're not. We weren't. Um, that said, I mean, look at look at the situation with the Lakers and the Pelicans. The Lakers uh, withstood a major yeah. comeback. Shout out to them. Uh, Zion Zion got hurt though in the, late in the game. He's out already, which we've talked about. I don't know why you would rule him out 
three days before the game, yep. um, I think you should wait. I don't care what it is. Yeah, I think you wait I, till the I, day of. You mark it as questionable. You don't I let think, the other team game I think plan nowadays for you. With all the betting going on and things of that nature, I think it's, I think it, no, I think you really have to like your injury report has to be kind of accurate. three days in yeah. advance. I mean, or maybe coach. Um, what's my you mark him as questionable coach. or doubtful? You make him as maybe. mark him as doubtful. To mark him out three days early, you've now given the Kings all because you can't flip mm-hmm. it now. No. If you've marked him out, you cannot flip it. I don't I, know. I don't think you can. You can't flip it and now say, oh, well, he's I'm the not player. sure about that, per se. Uh, I don't know. I, mean, I, I don't know. Because if the Heat marked Jimmy Butler out for Friday, I'm not even going to watch the goddamn game. <laughs> I'm not even going to watch you, the game, but I don't know if he can play. You know, he you, know that, you know we'll win by 15. You know that's how we roll, right? But that's been the whole year. Every time oh, God. one of them go out and we start rolling, and then everybody comes back and be like, oh, we need Duncan about, Robinson. We need won six games in a row. We need, we yeah. need Duncan yeah. Robinson. But hey, man, I want to give a shout out to Zion. Bad, man, we need him in our... I think he, he looked yeah, great. Because a lot of, a lot of shit was talking about him from the game before. And his hype. His he lost weight. His hype lost weight. Off. He was made to seem like the, <clears throat> the next big thing, and then the injuries happened. But then this year, he actually played seventy five or whatever amount of games. Why did why did it why because did the hype he train was, fall? Because off? he was injured. Oh, they, they haven't been marketing him playing. much. You know, one play. Well, well they haven't been playing. He actually played. So well, no, but, and then well, it's still the, the he, hype train never came back. Like, why he played. What, what what will happen to the what will happen to the hype train and Caitlin Clark if that happens to her? The same thing. The hype train will the, will no, he, will he will, will, up will go next down. Thing, and then now I just felt like damn, he actually played this year, and now well, we don't he, even talk about him or consider him as one of the next great players coming up. And I mean, and then once I I was about to say, damn, I need to apologize because I. Was, he, and he, he, he balled, and I'm like, now okay, that's the guy because when he has his head down and he's a man on the mission, there's nothing you could do with him. And you know he's coming at you. And mm-hmm. there's absolutely, he gave it to AD, he gave it to LeBron, he gave it to Rui, he gave it to whoever fucking wanted. You want it, you want it, you couldn't get it, you come get it. He was killing him. He didn't give a he fuck who you were. They all rep the same smart check yesterday. He, he, they was, it was. So who do you got? Who do you got Friday? The, the Kings or the Pelicans? I got the Pelicans it's in New Orleans. They're playing at. I don't think Even they lose another game at home. I think yeah. I think without Zion. steps up, McCullum steps up. Um, um, I think I like Valachunas. I think that's a game that he'll play well because he's going to get some bonus somebody his side. I like him when he playing to get real big. I really like Valachunas' game, but you know this new NBA and things of that nature. They don't oh. really give him the ball down there. Oh, he he, he ain't the he ain't the same guy he was with yeah, Toronto I mean, back in the day. But he still has. Yeah, he ain't the same. They don't use. They don't use in the he's same still, way he used to be used. Because he used to kill, kill the heat. Freaking time. Big freaking body. He kill he was the heat. Amazing touch around the he basket. The and then he was even like hit. He started hitting that three pointer shot from the corner. So that changed things. But I'm still gonna go to New Orleans to get it in. But I, I think the NBA has missed a freaking opportunity. Even though Rudy hates uh, the Lakers and things in that nature, man. And and, and you know what they talk about. What did I miss? You know, I know, How'd I'm they miss about, what, what they miss? Per se, but. Basketball is not as fun in the playoffs when you don't have Steph and LeBron in it. I don't care what you say. They are needle moving. They might well, be LeBron's out in four it. games or five games, but I know LeBron's we, in we it. had a chance to get LeBron in it if they bought, beat them and if Steph Curry handled business against I think that if you no, had no. had the Kings do their – I think if the Kings had done their job or the Pelicans had, Pelicans had done their job in the season finale and you would have had – the Lakers no, versus the, the Warriors in that that's good nine thing. ten game that would have been that that might that might have been watched as much yeah, as might, the Caitlin Clark that, that, that would have been good for night that have been good for night <laughs> to get LeBron and Curry again but you know how everybody say basketball is is better when the Knicks and the and, and the Lakers I that's horseshit I, 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 that's horseshit that's horseshit I, that. I don't believe in it but when that's LeBron nonsense. the Knicks have the Knicks have won the championship before I was born playoffs together. Man, that's an amazing thing, man. You know we're not going to get it so much longer. They're both on the last end of their careers. Well, that's the job of the new guys it, it to step is. up and I be mean, those guys. We definitely want to see it one more time. Of the, of Rudy I don't, don't want to see them, but I – and the rest of the world wants to see that. I don't want to see another freaking – I don't want to see another freaking floppery of, of LeBron against somebody and then watch him flop, 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 and – 
Watch him run some. Watch him run somebody over, and then not be called on him. But yet they bump into him, and he you're, goes flying you're thirty yards away. Lover of Caitlin Clark, she does the same thing with her push off. No, no, no. push off. She weighs a hundred. She weighs a hundred and fifty. pushes pounds. off with that damn left arm all the time. And LeBron pushes off with his all the time. He's two seventy. Like there's a big difference. Her little, her little, her little shove is. is hell, Michael Jordan no, did that no, no, same no, no, shove no. off. So Jordan shit was like, fucking a fuck. Jordan took his Jordan took his left arm yeah. and completely moved yeah. the guy's yeah, body yeah. over. Yeah. I, I, I mean, so what do you think of the? Okay, so now we have the Knicks and the Sixers. That's already done. Uh, who, who's winning uh, that series? The yeah, six, we got to get through the this. Six, the Sixers pull it off. Here. I think MB gets a little bit better. Um, yeah, I think that's really? the series where Maxi comes okay. out and show that he's um the guy, the right guy for the team, rather than having a hard. So uh, the Sixers, Sixers and how many? And six. Oh, you're gonna yeah. piss off Boozer, man. Boozer will be an un- unhappy just... person. Um, Bucks are playing without Giannis. They are he's out at least for a couple of games against the Pacers. The Pacers yep. mopped the floor with the Bucks all okay. year, scoring at will. I know you have this belief in Bobby in, in Bobby Clinton Portis or I don't know what it's Bobby per, Portis. Twenty four points per game this series. And and they and, and they who's gonna win this series? And they're gonna win the series without and they're gonna win the series without points Giannis. per game this series. And but look, but look, but look, but look. The Bucks will be down three one, and then Doc River flips oh, the on. script, and they win the series four to three. He comes back from a three one. He flips the script. I'm telling yeah, you, you're crazy. Happen. Doc River, um, Doc River's gonna flip the script. He's been three one, three one, and he's gonna have the whole story. Um, Cavs, Cavs, Cavs and Magic. And Magic. The Cavs, That's the Cavs went down the down the stretch were terrible. Um. But the Magic are completely inexperienced. Um, what are I your like thoughts? the Cavs, man. I, um, even when yeah, they play down the stretch? down the stretch. I think um, it turns around in the playoffs. Spider Mitchell playing, right? He's still he's healthy. I don't know. I, 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 he played in their season finale that they were winning in the fourth quarter, and then they no, pulled no, everybody no, out. No, you know, Spider gets a little bit better in the playoffs. He, um, he has Juice with him now who know how to win games. And things. No, I no, wish I'm we still saying, had him. I, I still like I like the Cavs. They, have, they have a little bit more um, experience in Orlando. In what? They're dead. Huh? Cavs in what? Yeah. Cavs in seven. Cavs in what? Okay, now we go over to um, whoever OKC plays. They're going to play okay. the. Um, they're going to play either the Kings or the Pelicans. OKC. What will it be? OKC Regardless wins, of who it is. Um, they beat the they beat the Kings. No, they beat New Orleans in a uh, five. Five. And then the Nuggets and Lakers. <laughs> you say it out loud. I'm going to ask you for a bet, and I'm going to hold you on that bet. So you better be right. You better Nuggets tell the truth. Nuggets and seven. Seven. You they're think that they're going to push games. it to seven. They haven't, they haven't beaten the Nuggets in two, three years. I mean, <laughs> okay. it's playoff time. Eventually, um, eventually they have to win the okay. game against them. <laughs> I don't know. That's what they always say. Timberwolves, Timberwolves and, Suns. and Suns, man. Look, upset, upset alert. I got the Suns and the Suns and six. And then finally, oh, not finally, but finally for the West, the Clippers and Mavericks. The Mavericks in six. And last but not least, I'm gonna go on a limb and say the Heat win on Friday over the over oh. the Ch- Chicago Bulls. Um. They're up nine right now with two minutes to go in the second. Oh, geez, it's getting closer. Um, regardless of who it is, Celtics or, or whoever. I'm, Celtics get the Celtics heat back this six. year. I, I didn't want to play them so early. I wanted in them six? to let the – I wanted Jimmy to get to his groove. Maybe Terry come back and we get the four. Yeah. You said Celtics in six? Jimmy finds a way to get a All game. Right. Um, okay. I'm going to sit here and I'll give yeah, you mine now let since I let you do that for me. Um, let me go. Um, we got the – the Lakers okay. and Nuggets. What do you like? Nuggets, Nuggets and five. five. They don't have a chance. Uh, gentlemen sweep. Okay. Um, then we have Clippers Nuggets and Mavericks. And five. Mavericks and five. And Kyrie. I think the Clippers that are falling to pieces. That, that was your team that you told me was championship contender. Didn't they, didn't they? Weren't they up like forty on the Mavs last week in the in the, in the second half of the game or uh, something no, like that too? The Mavs didn't. Wasn't no, it that them? Was in the, that was in them. I don't think the Mavs ain't played. No oh. more. Okay, I, 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 I got to look now because I get a sword. One to some Charlotte? Was it Charlotte? Somebody, they got played. 
Matt, the the Mavs lost to the uh, where is it? Was it the, no, no, it was the Thunder. My bad. They were down like they lost by fifth. They lost by fifty to the Thunder. And then my bad. It was lost to Kenny Lofton. Yeah. The clip. The Clippers were down thirty five, or no, they were up thirty five to the Suns, and damn near mm. blew the game. Um, who the hell the Clippers have played late, lately? Uh, real quick before they the Clippers the Clippers ended the season on a three game I mean, losing no, streak. <laughs> lost to the Suns, lost to the Jazz, were, lost rested, to the Rockets. They didn't they didn't play nobody. They finished strong. They, they finished yeah, strong yeah. before they started resting yeah. players. They, they won four. They they they, won, they lost two, won three, lost one, one yeah, four, I mean, lost. They won three. those four games and then they rested their players because it, two, it was a four, lot for them to play. Six, the, seven, um, for them to play the ten, anyway. four. Nine. So um, wait, 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 hold on. I'm just counting this real fast. Two, four, six, seven, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're ten and ten in the last twenty. You can't count the last. <laughs> they they did they did hit a slump and then they got it right. I mean, sure. all right. So I I think the Dallas I think the Mavericks are going to win. Um, uh, I'm sure someone will get hurt as well. <laughs> yeah. I'm... Um, Timberwolves Sun Tim, Timber Timberwolves in six. Timberwolves in six. Uh. I don't trust. I don't. I don't. I don't believe in uh in uh Bradley Beal. But what about KD? And the then uh, all right. Eh, what about um, uh, uh, we got OKC versus um. I'm pretty sure you're picking Sacramento. So uh, if it's Sacramento, yeah. first of all, I don't think Pelicans are going to win because I don't. If Zion mm-hmm. can't play, I don't think they're going to win. Yeah. I tell you yeah. what, OKC is good. They're really good. OKC is really good. I think OKC. Okay, I think OKC okay, sweeps. Okay. Them. Four so zero. Now we go to. Let's start off right off the bat. Heat Celtics. Heat win. Yep. You're gonna yep. go there first. Celtics. Wow. Celtics. Whoa. Celtics in four. No, you're just mad right now, Rudy. Rudy, you're mad. Rudy, no. you're mad. Uh, uh, four. You're mad. Sweet. You're mad. Sweet. Jimmy Butler's not gonna play. Seven. Jimmy Butler's not healthy. He'll be He's not right healthy. Here. He's not healthy. See, this is see, this is the thing. Jimmy Butler is not healthy, and you saw it tonight. He's going to magically jack. Why is this guy always hurt when it matters? He was hurt two years ago when we lost in seven. He was hurt. He got hurt. You know, it was, he was hurting versus the, the year before. He was hurt the year before that. Even in the finals, but Rudy, he wasn't 100%. He, he, that's the game he plays. Like, he plays a he, real physical game. Dude, but, it, but he gets hurt on the weirdest shit. He got hurt because a man landed on him like you don't see anymore. He landed. You missed it. He landed square on his leg, like on I his I leg. I saw the end of the the whole thing. Uh, it, it's like it, it's always <laughs> something. Right. It's always something. And if he has no explosion, then he's not going to be aggressive to the basket. He's not going to get to the line, and we don't have a chance in shit. We let. We don't have any shooters left. Max Drews is gone. Gabe Vincent's gone. Is Terry Rozier going to play? If our point guard is Tyler Hero, they will mop the right. floor with us. I did not think that we would be without two of our most right. important players. Well, three yeah. now for the most part. But absolutely, if we don't have a point guard, we cannot okay. beat the fucking Celtics. Like, we can't I, even I compete that. with them. And, and if Duncan Robinson can't go with all the backdoor shit he does, I know you love your Haywood Highsmith, but Haywood Highsmith fucking missed – a bunch of wide open wide. shots. He missed one wide open, no one around him by a mile from the corner. Like and his forty his forty percent three point shot. shooting. On, yeah, but you know what? If Steph doesn't miss them, we like up. the Heisman was so up. wide open. It's like you need that shot. We up, you need so that shot. We we still need, took the lead after that. All right, let's go that. um let's go right into it. Huh? We're gonna get swept. Um right, we're gonna right get swept. Um and and, and and they'll save and they'll save me money this year. Um Philly, New York, New York in six. No, nah, New York Whoa. in five. New so you York don't believe in five. Maxi. Um I don't believe in him beat. But they, I think their team um, is so much better around think, him. I like the addition to him. I don't think I, like I don't think but, uh, what? But based, based on I, like, what? I like him as a stretch four. I like I like Buddy Nick, Hill. Nick. I know his I know I know he's the same name as you. He he's got averaging five. No, points I said I like him as a defender. I like we we like we, we we managed like to make we we managed to make mediocre like guys look like I like his playoff experience. I like him being that fifth guy. I don't, he don't have to be that guy. I like Kyle Lowry. Fifth guy. He don't even he I don't like even Kyle start Lowry for them. Have that one game where he, he does his one playoff game. 
Oh, like, so you I, love Kyle Lowry? Like, I didn't have a problem with Kyle Lowry. You wanted to trade him. I didn't want to. Oh, you, no, did? you so did? You I did? said oh. I would take Terry Rozier because a Tyler Hero, we need somebody else who we can depend on. Come on, man. You know, things of that nature. If Tyler's going to be in and out all the all time. Right. But um, I like Kyle Lowry's <laughs> leadership as a point guard, getting the ball to the right person, taking charges, doing all the little things. I, I love him as a point guard. Even at this age, you know, he just can't do – he's not going to give you – if that, you shouldn't have been screaming to keep him because, I mean, he didn't do nothing for us the no, last month. True. He was with us. And then he plays against he us and kicks really our ass. Either, but he must know. Some best. He must... I think also they're helped by Maxi. Maxi's the yeah, point guard so for them, really. The so about, it's I love like Maxie, a combination man. point guard. All right, so you said them, uh, New York and five. Damn, that's crazy. Uh, New York and five. Yeah, Bucks, um, Indiana. I, I think the, the Indiana Orlando, and five. Um, Cat, Orlando okay. and seven. Okay. All right, we can move on. All right. Oh, okay. Well, who, Orlando in seven. Of yeah. what? The NBA? Jokic. Who do I think is going to win who or who do I should think win? should win? Okay. Jokic. Because some people, some people think that, some people think that Doncic should win. Don, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't subscribe to this thought process that if the six seed, or I'm sorry, uh, the five seed, before, and then, the fifth seed. I don't. I don't. I think winning. I think winning absolutely matters in MVP <laughs> voting. Um, I think it matters. I think complete. I think having a complete game matters. I think a guy who is absolutely void of defensive ability matters. Um, if you can't defend a parked car, I don't think you're the MVP of anything. And and you said it yourself. Jokic is surprisingly good defensively, even He's though he can't move. Um, he knows. He knows. He knows how to. Use, he knows hand. how to use his body to get in, to get in front of people. He has good hands. Um, and I, I just, uh, yeah, I think he's the, MVP. I, it's not, a, to me, it's not about any narrative. I just think he's, he's you said he's the best ball. player in the NBA and right now, and right now, yeah, I'll adjust it. He is the best player in the NBA because yeah, Joel Embiid can't, <laughs> Joel Embiid looks like he's so he's constipated so at all times. Joel, well, he gets up for, always he gets up for always Jokic, but I can't make him the best player in the league if he don't do that every, I mean, he does it every night, but yeah. Well, he was averaging 35 before he got hurt. When he get to the playoff, so, between his elements and just certain nights, he looked he like he hurt. looked like he just don't have hurt. it. I, I don't, I don't get how, I don't know how, why I, I, he's got. You know what? You can sit here and tell me about load management. Guys get hurt today because they don't play. I believe that they get hurt all the time because they don't play enough. They're always taking days uh, off, even when they're not hurt. It's amazing. You saw? Did you see who played eighty four games Mikhail, this year? Um, no, that wasn't Mikael. It was somebody got traded. Who was it? Was... Mikael no, Bridges played the whole, played all, like, all eighty two. There was someone that played yeah, eighty four games this year. I don't know who it was. I saw it briefly. Was it Buddy Hill, but Buddy Hill guys don't. Yeah, guys don't play, and I think not playing impacts you negatively. I, it does. Unless you're actually hurt, there's no logical reason to not play. It just there just isn't to me. It, it, I, I cannot stand it, and um, I think Jokic is going to be the MVP again. I think he should be the MVP. Um, they have the second best record in the league, along with behind the Celtics. I mean, they're tied with the same record as Okie, yeah. tiebreakers or whatever. I don't care about that. Second best record in the league. They're the defending champions. They're going to win the thing all over again. They're going to win. I, I I cannot see anyone beating them. It matters. Um, I'll man, take you know Jokic. Who I got the MVP, man. Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown. Who? Yep. Get the fuck out of here. Man, Get what he did here. with the Knicks team that was decapitated by injuries and things of that nature to keep them up. Decapitated? Yeah, they, old, they got one guy out. out. They got one guy um, out. He wasn't on their Randall team until half the season. I, Rudy. Randall, Randall is still out. out. They have a couple here. more players out. Um, they got Bo, Bo John, Bogon, Logan. As great as, as great as they were, they finished four I, games ahead of the Heat. I, I still – all right, maybe not MVP, AC. but – I'm not – if you think it, it's fine. No, I, think he's, I, I think it's fabulous. I think man, he's, I think he's unbelievable. Back. He started – But, God damn, the Miami Heat are 46 wins. They're four games from being a two seed. Yeah, the East, I mean, it was all clumped together. This game. I, I like – I just want to – Maybe I just want to give a shout-out to Jalen Brunson more than him being the MVP. Oh, I love Jalen Brunson. If you could, if I could trade half my really team for my team right now, year. but I just maybe, maybe I just want to give him a shout out for carrying his team when we all thought they were going to fall down to like the sixth, seventh 
Oh, I love I love, what, I love he literally what started doing. scoring forty points a game, and then Shannon Sharp gets on there and says he's a, he shoots a bad field goal percentage. I'm like he shoots forty eight percent. That's a that's a six feet point guard. Yeah, that's the same guy that will tell you that Juju Watkins yeah, so is the greatest female like, player okay. in college basketball. No, this guy, and she shoots forty percent. He's putting his team on his back. He's scoring anyway. He's getting to the free throw line eight nine times a night. He's he's shooting the ball from the three mm-hmm. point line at forty percent. He's the you know. He's he's doing his thing out there in New York. Shout out to them, man. Shout out to New York, man. Who's the who's who's the, who's the rookie of the year coming up? Wemby, your Wemby. mom. Uh, Wemby. I, I mean, it's amazing. The guy can be the rookie of the year, winning twenty two games. Wemby, um, Wemby is the MVP. I think no, he's the player of the year. Also, like, I think he is too. Yeah, they're gonna give but it to Gobert. But uh, they're gonna give it to Gobert again. Yeah, Go- Gobert. Yeah, Gobert. I don't know. Um, but. Yeah, I, I mean, somebody said yeah, he doesn't I, play in the play. I've been said that. I said, how can he be a defensive player of the year when the playoffs time coming around? He can't play. Well, because because it doesn't. It's not I based know, on the playoffs. Right. So. Well, who, who said that? No, Draymond Green said some shit like that. I think. But no, Draymond, Draymond Green. No, at Draymond home, said so, okay. that that um, Wemby can't get it because their defense is one of the worst defenses in the league. But when Wemby's on the court, they have one of the best well, defenses in the league. I mean, he's yes, not really bad exactly. when he's not. That's on the court. how bad, it, and he only played like twenty nine minutes a game. So, the mo- who, who's the most improved player? Kobe White. Kobe White. What? Mm-hmm. Kobe White. Yeah. With the Bulls. That kid's been phenomenal this year, man. Go really look at him. Man. He's huh? averaging nineteen. Yeah. He's averaging nineteen. What did he do last year? Because we are almost fifteen minutes like now. Jesus. But he really. Fit that thing. Uh, what what did he average last year? Uh, stats. Our moderator won't like this episode because we're yeah, taking we're fucking forever. Forever. Okay, he averaged huh? ten points a game last year. Wow, he averaged ten. No, he's double really stepped double. up this year. Became like I, I like was gonna say, say five three. I, game. Yeah, I I was gonna uh, shit. That's hard to argue. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking? I, uh, I was thinking between uh, Halliburton and uh, mm. Maxi. Well, I think Maxi already had it. I just um, thought that that Harden. No, I mean, did he I have mean it? no, I mean, I did think he, he already it? had the game. He was that guy. I don't think he was most improved. I just think he just got the ball in his hand more than he had last year with dealing with Harden having the ball in his hand. Well, I think. He, he was, I mean, he, he went. He, he went from last year. What was he should have had the ball more last year, but you know, Harden get paid what he get paid and. He averaged seventeen and a half last year. He's averaging twenty six a game. This, I'm sorry, he averaged twenty last year. He averaged twenty six. Eh, Kobe White. Eh, I'll, I'll, I'll agree with you. I'll, I'll agree with you. So now that we've talked about the NBA, who's your uh, NBA champion? Who's oh. going to the finals? Real quick before we go. I guess so too. Move on. Winner. Nuggets. Repeat. I I agree. <laughs> I agree. Um. With that said, we uh, yeah, we got I'm else. Go. I ain't even gonna go to. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Nuggets Celtics. What? I got Nuggets Celtics. Nuggets win. Repeat. Um, real, 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 real complicated. Mm. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Come on now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up to the minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.